Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mikhail Tal and Ivan Radulov. The game was played in Skopje in 1972. This lesson is all about the endgame strategy. So let's go straight to the position of our interest. This is the position. White is a pawn up, but quite often it is not even relevant when there are opposite color bishops on the board. Player with the black pieces Radulov put on an awesome resistance against Tal and expected to draw this game. Why to move? Tal played bishop to c4 check. King to f6, king to d5. Neither white king nor bishop can do any harm to the black pawns on the queen side at the moment. King to f7, king to e5, king to g7, bishop to d5, king to h7, king to f6. Tal's plan is to get black in Zugzwang position. Let's see how he achieves that. Bishop to f8, not moving the king anymore. Bishop to e4, check, king to g8, king to g6, bishop to g7, Bishop to d5 check, king to h8. White king is more active than the black king, and white bishop has more freedom than the black bishop. It's all good, but how to win? The game continued. Bishop to e6, bishop to f8, bishop to c4, bishop to g7, king to f7. The white king is going to the queen side at the right time. King to h7. Bishop to d3 check, king to h8, bishop to e4. Black king can't move. That means that black must move the bishop. And the bishop has only one square available. Bishop to e5, king to e6, attacking the bishop and approaching the black pawns on the queen side. Bishop to g7, king to d5. Bishop to f6, king to c6, bishop to d8. White to move. What would you do? Tal played king to d7, attacking the defender of the pawn on b6. Bishop to f6, king to c7, and black can't defend the pawn on b6. Bishop to e7, king takes on b6. Radulov played bishop to b4 and then resigned. Why? Let's see why. One possible continuation is king to b5, bishop to c3 defending both pawns, king to c4, king to g8, white to move. How would you continue? Then b4, bishop takes on b4. If a takes on b4, then king to b5, and the a pawn is marching to a8 square. So let's go back. After bishop takes on b4, one line goes like this. King takes on d4, king to f7, c4, king to e6, c5, bishop to d2, king to c4, king to d7, bishop to f5, check, king to b5 was also a good move. Bishop to f5, check is another way to go. King to c7, king to d5, bishop to e3, keeping an eye on the pawn, Bishop to e4, bishop to f2, c6, bishop to e3, king to e5, switching to the king's side. King to d8, king to f6, bishop to c5, king to g7, bishop to d6, king takes pawn on h6, king to e7, king takes on g5. I guess we can stop here. And let's go back to our training position. Can you win with white pieces from this position? Please click on the link below the video and test your skills against the Terminator. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.